Welcome to Blurpen IoT. In this video, we will check out how to update and upgrade all your systems on a Raspberry Pi. So I'm on the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS on a Raspberry Pi 4. So in case you use any older versions of Raspberry Pi OS, you may not have the convenience of this button up here in the right corner, which says, OK, updates are available. So you can just click and hit install updates or show updates in the first place and then install them once you checked. So that's super, super convenient. So this is a totally fresh setup of Raspberry Pi OS on an SD card. So that's what it looks like. And you can just hit this button and get ready for every other installs you wanna do. But in case you're not getting the button in the upper right corner or you're on an older version of Raspberry Pi OS, there's also the old school way and the way as soon as you're familiar with the terminal, probably the way you want to go for. So to update and upgrade all your stuff, you go for the terminal, open a new terminal window, also called shell, and you just go ahead with sudo apt update. You hit enter and it takes a couple of seconds and now what's actually happening the raspberry pi is checking for any new updates available for all the latest repositories what's not done right now is that anything is actually updated or upgraded so in linux there is this differentiation between update and upgrade so once we checked for what's available now we have to actually upgrade it to do so we will go ahead with sudo apt upgrade. Entering this in the command line, hit enter again, and now we are actually upgrading all the software packages. And now we also may run into the question, there is something that needs additional space on my disk. Do you like to do it or do you don't wanna do it? In this case, it's only 10 MB, so we can definitely go for yes. And a couple of seconds later, of course, depending on how big the updates are that needs to be done and how fast is your internet speed, you will get through this whole process, which I will just speed up in the video right now. All right, we are done with all the updating and upgrading. So that's basically it. What you wanna do after this is you wanna reboot quickly to activate all those changes. To do so, you can go for the Raspberry Pi logo, hit log out and then hit reboot. Or as an alternative, just type reboot into the terminal line and you hit enter and you will reboot the whole system. So that's basically all you need to know about the difference between updating and upgrading. In case you do it the manual way, you have to make sure to update first and upgrade second. You cannot just hit upgrade and without updating before. In this case, you won't upgrade everything. In case you're lucky, you get this little nice helper here, but we checked out the manual way as well. So just make sure to do this after you first start your Raspberry Pi, after you set it up, everything is done for the first time, but also, in case you want to install some new software, you want to make sure that everything else, all the other software packages are on the latest version. So I hope this helped you a bit to clarify all this confusion between updating and upgrading on Raspberry Pi. In case you liked it, make sure to give a thumbs up and be sure to be subscribed for more stuff around the Raspberry Pi, like how to install Node-RED and all the other stuff you can do with the Raspberry Pi. So see you next time.